Whenever we visited my grandmother, she always had fresh baked goodies around. Her garden would literally explode with vegetables every summer. She loved a good game of euchre and solving those puzzles on Wheel of Fortune. She eventually developed dementia. And as is typical with dementia, her personality began to change. She would become easily agitated and have episodes of aggressive behavior. She eventually drifted into an abyss of dementia, away from the things and the people that she loved. Now, there's nothing unique about her story. Dementia affects five and a half million Americans. It costs over a quarter of a trillion dollars a year and has the potential to bankrupt our healthcare system. There is no drug therapy available that can reverse the effects of dementia. Your brain is the most expensive real estate that you will ever own. We instinctively protect it from injury because we intuitively know that the brain controls every function in the body. It's kind of a big deal. But the brain, it's also very needy. It needs 20% of our blood flow and oxygen, which is diminished with heart disease. The brain also needs nutrients. Type 2 diabetes causes brain cells to become insulin resistant. Those cells starve to death. And inflammation in the body due to high sugar intake causes inflammation in the brain. Your brain is literally on fire. But don't worry, you won't feel a thing. The, the brain doesn't have any pain receptors. So what can you do to boost your brain health? Well, exercise not only increases oxygen and blood flow, it produces brain-derived neurotropic factor, which means cool stuff that helps to grow a brain. As we age, our brain needs healthy fats for fuel. Coconut oil and avocados. Incidentally, this was lacking in my grandmother's diet. She was told to eat processed foods. Quality sleep is also very important for the brain, for this is when it's able to repair itself and store our memories. So, do you want your last 25 years to be vibrant and healthy? Or do you want to be a memory to your family while you're still here? We all know someone with dementia, but we don't know anyone who has recovered from it. I have learned ways that we can reduce and, and delay the onset of dementia. And in my next talk, I will share with you some of the surprising facts of how cholesterol-lowering drugs affect your brain health. Thank you.